What is going on, guys? Insane Juggernaut back with another video, and uh, <laughs> we got a nice little new series for you guys, man. I know some of you guys are seeing the title and you're very intrigued right now. Uh, I decided to come up with a new series called The Barry Sanders Effect. Now, when you hear that title, a lot of things might come to mind. One thing I think of is Barry Sanders versus Emmett Smith. And uh, one reason why you hear this argument so much is a lot of guys say, put Barry Sanders on Emmett Smith's team and, you know, he's easily the greatest running back of all time. And uh, put Emmett Smith on that Lions team and, you know, he might not even be in the Hall of Fame right now. That's what, that's what some people say. Obviously, Emmett Smith is one of the most balanced running backs in NFL history and he can do it all. But that's the argument that's made. So I decided, why not make a series based on that notion and see if it's really a real argument? So pretty much what I made here is essentially an all-gold team. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take different offensive bosses and we're going to uh, let them run the show and see if you know they can do it all on their own. Uh, this episode is going to be Mike Vick because uh, I'm really excited to play with this card. Obviously, on my main account, uh, I have plus two speed Mike Vick and... Unfortunately, plus two speed is too good of a boost to me to give up for this boss, Michael Vick, even though you know he's obviously a better card and he would be insane on my main account. Not worth giving up that plus two speed boost. And that boss, Michael Vick, is just fine. He's an incredible card. So, well, the, the, the master Mike Vick, right? So uh, we decided, you know, we'd let boss Mike Vick do his thing on my backup account. Next episode, uh, we'll get it in with Mike Evans as well. But uh, this episode is all about Mike Vick. Obviously, we, whenever Todd Gurley comes out, we'll do him as well. Uh, whenever Gronk comes out, we'll do him. You know, it all depends on how you guys like this series. I think it's super creative, and I hope it comes out well. So we're going to play some all Madden gameplay. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get matched up with guys too much higher than us. Hopefully, it's uh, really even. And, you know, we'll see uh, what Mike Vick can do with this 75 overall team, man. So, uh Let's get into the first drive, guys. All right, guys. Vic's first drive is against the 83 overall defense. A nice amount of elites. So Vic is going to have to do a lot of this work by itself. So, uh, you know, obviously we're playing with an all-gold squad um, for the most part. Uh, throwing those deep bombs. That you see on my main account is just simply not going to work here with wide receivers with 82 speed. So Vic is really just going to have to nickel and dime his way down the field. And uh, as a play caller, I'm going to have to be smart. So let's see what Vic can do for his play TCS. This looks like a counter. Just want to check out his corner real quick. He's got two base elites, okay? See, that's uh, if that's an elite right there, you might make that catch. Second and 10, deep curls. See what Vic can do. There's a dime from Mike Vick, first down. Vick is calling PA cross. We'll PA fullback flat. So let's see what he can do. Second and three. Cause a counter. Okay, nice. Uh, second and three. Let's see what we got here. Bunch of these spot. <laughs> Holy shit, Ted Ginn is gone. That's a dime from Mike Vick. Only only Mike Vick can make that a super win right there. Only Mike Vick. So uh, the tough thing about a left-handed quarterback is bunch spacing is less effective. But I'm still going to run bunch spacing whenever I can, whenever I don't use a scramble. And we're just going to see what Mike Vick can do. So first drive, uh, Mike Vick gets him down the field pretty easily. So, you know, uh, let's keep grinding, man. Mike Vick is trying to make a statement out here. So, uh, got to gotta have three solid drives. Scoring 24 is mandatory for all of these, man. If Mike Vick doesn't put up 24, all of these drives, the game plays a bust. You know what I mean? So, uh, should be really interesting, man. If I can get a motion QB draw, that's going to be pretty insane. Actually, I'm going to run it on first. Usually, I don't. Oh, we don't have it unlocked yet. That's That sucks. Oh, well. 
Uh, halfback option, one of my favorite plays in all of Mad Mobile history. Here's a first down by Vic. Vic takes a huge hit. First and 10, gonna go bunch PA pin deep. Obviously not flipped because he's left-handed. Yeah, no, not sure what happened there. Usually I scramble with that, but uh, kinda got stuck. Second and 14. See what we got here. Uh, we're going to go trips off QB dash, and you guys can watch the way I run this. You, whenever it's covered two, usually I throw this uh, outside route, and I kind of spot throw it before he curls, and if it's not covered two, then I'm going to throw it again. Third down, third and one. So, uh, see, we got a couple options here. We might. We got fullback dive. We'll give it to Gurley, let him get the first down for us. And Gurley gets the first down. Cool. First and 10. See what we got here. Do we have motion cross? Yes. Motion cross is the call. Man coverage. Vic just puts it right on him, man. Only Vic can make these goal receivers do what they're doing right now. It's really impressive, actually. So uh, Vic gets him in the end zone again. So pretty impressive, right? There's a two-point conversion there. So far, Vic is perfect. Got one more drive. Hopefully, we can get it uh, 24 here. Uh, would be a great way to start off this gameplay, man. Uh, Want to get some crazy highlights with Vic, those 80-yard runs, you know. But we're going to let him come to us. We're going to be patient, let Vic be explosive. But uh, I can feel a crazy highlight coming soon for sure. I'm going to go halfback option again. Like I said, that option to throw the uh, this route that crap should run against man coverage or to um, – to scramble if it's any other coverage is just insane so tackle couldn't get the block there that's the the woes of dealing with the gold off his line against 95 defensive ends uh Vic would have had a nice scramble there or a throw to crowd tree both options were open there second 11 deep curls is obviously the call here uh we got man coverage obviously across the board so the curls are the read Sanu makes a drop there it's all good Third and 11. We're still on the left hash, I believe, so motion cross. Vic gets sacked. Fourth and 15. Vic is going to have to do it on his own. And uh, I think the perfect call here is empty trip stick. Obviously, I would call Funker spot if I had it, but I don't. So empty trip stick here. If it's man coverage, it's a first down for sure. And Vic is out of there. You get, you get man coverage versus empty strip stick, and, uh, you know, Vic is going to take it for a great distance against an, uh, a 120 defense. So let it be, you know, it's 85 defense we're going against right now, and it's a wrap. So uh, Vic gets his team in the end zone, and, you know, this bum-ass squad is going to put up 24 points. So how impressive is that, right? Forgot we didn't have a scramble there. So that's the reason we don't get 24 on the board, because uh, we call a bunch of space and we a scramble. Ricky mistake. But uh, 22 first time around for Vic, man. So not too bad. Three for three for his first three drives. We're going to get a couple more drives in. Hopefully Vic can uh, beast on this defense a little more. And us. Uh, All right. Back with the second set of drives and have a way, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A way more attractive matchup for Vic. This defense is only at 77, so Vic is about to go off. Uh, strong guy twins, PA fullback flat. Does he have elite corners? He doesn't have elite corners. So, you know, Vic is about to eat. There's a first down. First and 10. Uh, let's see. Left hash. Left hash. We can go CCS. Or no, halfback option for sure. Crabtree misses a block. Second and one. Deep curls. C is in man. It's not man. It's first down for Net with his first catch of uh, this series. First and 10. Bunch PA pin deep. If it's man coverage, we'll scramble with Vic. No luck there. Second down. Let's see what we got. Bunch C spot. 
flats are going to be open here. Couldn't get it off. Third and 10. Let's see what uh, Vic has in the radar. Empty trip stick might be the move here. Looks like zone coverage. Nope, it's man. Press scramble wouldn't let me scramble. Now we got fourth down and 15, and Vic is in a tough spot. Looks like we're in middle hash, so uh, motion cross is obviously my first thought, but uh, it might actually not be the best call here. But I, I think I'm still going to lean towards motion cross. I'm seeing if I have any other options here. Uh, the options are looking really slim right now, so motion cross just seems like the right call here. So I'm going to call motion cross. If it's man coverage, we're throwing the out route. If it's zone, we got an option to scramble or throw uh, the Muhammad Sanu. Zone coverage. Sanu gets the first down for us. Good job, Sanu. And uh, Vic gets his team up. Tough situation there. Obviously, offensive line doesn't give Vic a lot of time. Like I said, you know, you got to trust your teammates sometimes. And uh, Vic doesn't have the best teammates right now, but uh, he's still playing very well, obviously. Second and inches. Let's see what we're going to do with Vic about this one. Uh, leaning towards FL drag. I meant to throw it again, obviously. Fat finger at that, but Crabtree makes a great catch. Um, don't think scramble is open. Not in, not in scramble. All right. And there it is. So... First drive of this series, uh, Vic gets him in. Wasn't the prettiest drive, but uh, Vic does get him in. So next drive, you know, uh, Vic has yet to have that flashy highlight that we're looking for. So uh, maybe maybe we can get that with Vic this drive around. Uh, love the concept of this video already, man. I just think it's so dope having Vic play with a bunch of nobodies. And it's going to be even more dope, you know, doing this with other players as well. Very uh, unauthentic scramble there, but we'll take it. First and 10, motion cross for sure. Man coverage. Try to step up in the pocket. Obviously, a goal offensive line. Uh, can't hold off the pressure for long. Second, 13, deep curls. See what we got. Four net with the drop there. Uh, we use a scramble on TCS, so yeah. Third and 13. See what we got. Probably go double hitch. Yeah. Cover two. Line just isn't going to protect. Um, something that should be expected. Four from 20, halfback angle uh, or halfback option. Looks like it's all we have. This is a call here. Oh, Vic gets burnt in the super win. That's definitely the, the 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 makings of Vic there. Uh, Burn would never have a super one in that situation in the other case. So Vic gets us a first down, and we have a new set of scrambles left, as well as having um, TCS open. So very big play there. And uh, seems like every time we're going to drop a drive, Vic just finds a way to get us out. So pretty incredible. First down. This Vic hasn't fumbled yet, so that's a very good sign as well. Uh, you know, Vic and whatever Madden you play with him and is usually a fumble machine, so very impressive. It's cover two, so Crabtree should be wide open. There's a drop there by Crabtree, all good. Second down, this deep curls open. Deep curls just got open. We're gonna go FL drag though. And uh, let's see what my guy Tag Gin can do. There's a drop, third. And 10, empty strip stick, rush for five yards. Hopefully we can rush for 10 here. Man coverage because we got nickel. Almost every time you see nickel is going to be man coverage. So uh, one of the defensive ends are going to try to crash in. We're going to scramble outside. We have a touchdown for Vic. So uh, we don't have a scramble for the two point now. We're going to go tr uh, strong. I have back toss. And watch how slow Fortnite runs his half back toss. <laughs> so uh second job we also get in there you know so, so far we're perfect so um great obviously your drives aren't pretty at all you know we don't have the whole playbook so um 
kind of sucks from that regard, you know, but uh, Vic is still doing a fantastic job. I think having the th- this much of the playbook with the rest of it cut off is so uh, like slightly harder than having the gold team because, you know, you're still playing against your talent level. So it, it's very beneficial, you know, to, to invest in the quarterback position and have, you know, that Barry Sanders-esque type of role given to him when uh, – you know, you have a full playbook, but with the playbook being the way it is, then it's kind of tough, you know what I mean? So there's a first down for Vic. Great pass. Could have could have run it there, but he decided to be a little selfless and uh, give Crabtree a shot. Double hitch here. Looks like cover three. And uh, Vic is going to bullet it to Burton and see what he can do. Incomplete. Second down. Uh, we got a couple options here. Probably curl flats. Just because curl flats is the easiest play in the game to read. It's always been that way. Flats. I I, I definitely should call curl flats more uh, on my main account, you know, in, in top 100 gameplay. Because curl flats is still, you know, an incredible play. It's just, I guess, you know, the more explosive plays are in style now that 125 speed receivers, you know, do what they do. And, uh, you know, I'm not mad at that. Uh, trips halfback screen is like my favorite play in the game now because of how deadly that uh that go route is but you know curl flat still has his has his uh role in the game fourth down didn't let that defensive end engage with the tackle so as a result um defense end comes free so we're leaning towards slot flags on fourth and 12 and uh we'll see what we can get is this a counter In completion there, Vic drops his first drive. So I um, think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a whole series again. I'm going to try to do one more series. And I'm going to try to get against a really good defense and see if Vic can still lead this bum squad down the field for a touchdown, and then we'll wrap it up. But uh, so far, I've really enjoyed this gameplay, man. So uh, see if we can get one more drive in against a, a solid defense. All right, guys. Took a while. But finally got an 86 defense for Mike Vick to go up against. And it's also uh, Falcons. I'm not sure if they got Falcons jerseys on. But, you know, yeah, and it's Falcons jerseys. So let's see what he can do against his uh, old guys. Let's see. Our offensive line is going to have a hell of a time trying to block Clowney, uh, Bruce Smith, all those guys. Pretty dope seeing, seeing gold teams again, man. Brings me back to my humble roots. So obviously we got cover one here. Man across the board. The hitch is the read, so Muhammad Sanu uh, up against the keep to leave is the matchup we're looking at. Second and inches. Uh, see what we got here. Obviously, we're going short pass. Leaning towards uh, trips, tight end, quick slants, or FL drag. Uh, we're going to go trips, tight end, quick slants. Crabtree was open. Uh, the the way Vic tried to deliver it from the left just didn't get there in time. We got third in the inches. Lean towards fullback dive. Uh, we're going to try to get this first down here. Gurley gets the first down for us. Big play. Um, let's see what we got up next. Le- looking, leaning towards uh, strong eye twins, PA fullback flat. And uh, he's not countered. So uh, looks like man coverage here. Gurley should be the read. First down there. Lean toward motion cross or bunch PA pin deep. Let's go bunch PA pin deep. Hopefully get man coverage. We can scramble with Vic. Block shed by, I think that's Bruce Smith. Uh, usually, obviously, that would be a huge play. But uh, with the gold offensive of lineman trying to block that elite defensive lineman, tough play to get there. Deep curls on second. Man coverage. Sanu makes a great catch. Third and five, FL drag for sure. Cover two, Vic throws his first pick of the gameplay. Amu Kamara may just be gone. Oh, Vic makes a great hustle play though. And that's one thing about Michael Vic, he's never going to quit. Makes probably the best play of the gameplay so far with that hustle tackle on Amu Kamara. But again, he has to learn from his mistakes. He threw a pick there. Can't put his team in that situation. They were driving down the field, and uh, 
Vic is indeed the one that, you know, caused the turnover. So Vic is going to have to make up for that this drive. Uh, obviously, he's playing against a squad that's so much better than him. Vic has to make plays. TCS first play is the call. See what we get here. Same coverage as the last time. Hitch is, is uh, what we're looking for. And uh, pressure comes in too quick. Second and 16. Let's see what we got here. Obviously, deep curl is a great call. Empty trip stick is a call we want to save for third or fourth. So bunch of these spot or um, deep curls are the call. We're going to go bunch of these spot. Titan should be the read here, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, not Titan, but flex. Couldn't get it again. Third and 16, empty trip stick. Hopefully, it's a man coverage and not a counter. Zone coverage. Sanu drops it. Fourth and 16. Not too many options here. Uh, thinking more than likely we're going to go halfback option. Hopefully, um, either Burton. Okay, we got zero coverage. So, see, Ted Ginn versus Micah Hyde in the favorable. Darian Stewart versus Burton. We might have to go for this matchup, and hopefully Burton can make a play for us just because of the size difference. Burton does beat off the line, but Darian Stewart has great makeup speed, and uh, he makes the play there. So, so far, Vic hasn't been able to score at all. No big scrambles yet against his defense, and Vic is going to have to do something this drive, hopefully to tie it up and uh, make way for some chance to beat this guy. We can score quickly. So uh, Vic is going to have to pull the rabbit out of the hat for this team. Go halfback option here. Second and ten, second and eight. See, we can go deep curls. Uh, it's a couple play action plays I could call here that give Vic an opportunity to to scramble. You know, a bunch of PA pin deep is one of those plays. Doesn't get past a lot in scrimmage. Uh, we never use a scramble when we call a bunch of PA pin deep, so uh, unfortunately we can't get the first down there. Looks like zone again, so uh, Fournette is the read. Great catch by Fournette. Amazing catch by Fournette. First and 10. And uh, let's see what we got here. TCS. Wanted to get a scramble there, but obviously a flat was the read. And uh, at the way it's looking right now, we're not going to be able to get a win because we're not scoring fast enough. So, um, second and 15, see what we got. Just looking for, for one of my scramble plays. I'm going to go deep curls and actually try, try a trick that I used to use. Okay, we should have cut it outside, but we got, we got a little bit there. Third and nine, curl flats. This is counter. Okay, man coverage. Defensive end kills Mike Vick there. Four for 14, empty trip stick isn't there for us. Uh, we can go bunch of these spot and hopefully this post will clear out the backside though. Zone cover, so we gotta go again. Come on again. Again makes an amazing catch. First and 10. Gonna go empty trip stick and hopefully get a touchdown here. That's what we need. We need man coverage here. Looks like man coverage. Mike Vick gets a huge touchdown for us. Don't think that we're going to have enough time. Two-one conversion, we obviously got to go halfback toss and hope that this gets in because it is a counter. So it's going to be tough to get this in. Fournette's too slow. Not going to get in. That's a loss. And it's all on Mike Vick. Uh, so, unfortunately, last drive of the series is the worst one because uh, Vick can't get a win against these guys. In the first episode of the Barry Sanders effect, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, overall, not too many explosive plays from Vic. What he did prove the first two drives is that uh, he could lead, you know, a, a less than stellar team down the field and uh, score consistently. Last drive, uh, he was hindered by a, a defense that was a uh, plus six overall. And, uh, you know, I think the best highlight was that tackle that he made on Amukamara. I think that's probably one of the dopest highlights that that we got in the whole gameplay. So uh, really proud of that play. 
But, you know, overall, uh, Vic had a very bad last drive. But, you know, he's obviously an insane quarterback. What I've noticed is uh, he's he's not too much better than the plus two speed Mike Vic that they released a lot earlier, fully trained. Um, I do notice that he has a little more uh, zip on the medium and long passes than, than the other Vic does. And it's not because of throw power because they both have the same throw power. It's because of that throw accuracy from uh, mid and deep that Vic has. I noticed the ball got there a lot smoother. We noticed uh, some of the super wins that I got first first drive to like tag in in those guys. Uh, it was because Vic was zipping it to those guys. So, like I said, this Vic card is incredible. Uh, Going to be a fun card to play with on this backup account. So, uh, you know, not not too bad of a card. Obviously, like I said, I think if you have plus two speed Vic, there's no need to replace him with this guy. It just wouldn't make any sense at all. Plus five catch is not you know a big enough boost to want to replace any of these guys but hopefully you guys like this series man and if you guys did i'll definitely bring you um another gameplay with mike evans but uh this is pretty fun man so hopefully i can do a lot more of these it's been your boy and saying another video hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment subscribe all that means the world to me catch you on the next video peace